We will continue our trip under the Red Line Club. I'm going to show you two models that are the third generation of their respective lines. And one of them is actually part of the Hot Wheels Suite 16. I'm going to bring some basic models for comparisons and show you the famous Neo Classic Red Line wheels. We talked about red lines and wheels in the last video, you remember? And yes, I'm also going to tell you what I mean with Suite 16. Today in JR Collectibles, we have a Hot Wheels RLC unboxing. Skyline was born in the beginning of the 50s in Japan, under a car manufacturer named Prince. It was only until the late 60s that Nissan acquired Prince and put their hands on the Skyline. This is a third generation Skyline and Hot Wheels released this version, that is the first one, on 2021, with this light smoke spectra flame color. In the back you have painted taillights in red and a Japanese style plate. The rear wing is a separate plastic piece in matte black. And if you look closer in the bumper, you'll see two small boxes painted with black lines. These are representing the reverse lights that the real car has. And now that we are in the subject of the black bumper, it seems to be part of the main casting, but it has a different shade of grey that makes it look like a chrome finish. From a lateral view, you'll see the door handle and a keyhole in the door. Surrounding the wheel covers a few rivets, and barely recognizable but there is the Skyline emblem between the front wheel and the door. The wheels have an egg spoke rim in darker smoke grey and rubber tires, and they roll without issues. Inside you will have a right hand drive and a full black interiors. In the front you have the classic four round headlights and below them directional lights also in a similar whitish color. Black grill with the GTR emblem on it and the same Japanese plate in the front bumper, which is also part of the casting and with the same slightly different shade of grey. Now, probably one of the most attractive features of this Hakosuka are the plastic lateral mirrors. These are separate pieces just like the back wing and they look just like in the real car. And like other LC models, you can open the hood and find what is probably an S20 i6 engine, which was the inline 6 that this GTR used. Hot Wheels released a Skyland from the 71, a GTR version last year in the Fast and Furious Basic line. But I don't have it open yet, so I brought the next best thing that I could find in my Basic line collection, that is this one. This is not a GTR, this is actually a GTX. Both of them are Skylands, both of them are from the 71, but this is a GTR, this is a GTX. Uh, that it's it was actually released before this one this was released in 2011 this was released in 2021 uh, 10 year difference my assumption is that this one uh, this casting is use this casting as a baseline i see some similarities that i want to show you in the front right of the gate you can see the big differences between the two four round headlights with compared to the square headlights here Divided grill, no grill at all. Front bumper, no front bumper at all. But the shape, if you see the shape of the hood here on top, like this kind of angry looking hood, is similar to this one. Uh, that's what I think that the similarities, similarities start. A uh, big difference, of course, no side mirrors, side mirrors here. By the side, you see the detail of the bumper here that is unexistent here. Plastic wheels, rubber tire, side by side, they look actually pretty similar. Same types of windows, same this, same overall design. And then if you move to the back, here, again, the biggest differences that you will find here are the headlines, sorry, tail lights, tail lights that are completely different. Here you will find the bumper here no bumper the wing the 
back wing this is a separate piece this is part of the casting and yeah from the top you i i see also some similarities within the casting this uh, chrome uh, smoke gray doesn't help too much with the light but for example here in the trunk you see this small detail in the trunk that it's also here so yeah as I said, some similarities within the model. Even in the front, you can see these uh, intakes or intakes. So yeah, I think that this was the base for this one. But of course, the RLC model has a lot more detail. But I think that is the biggest difference, of course, is no opening hood on the basic model. And here, there's an opening hood, but it has an interesting procedure. First you need to go in front and do this kind of pulling to the top so it will release the mechanism that allows you to turn the hood and leave it open. For the closer it's the same exactly, you first turn and after that you turn it, you accommodate and then you do the click down. Now we'll make a jump from the line of the rising sun to the line of the free. Let's open a legend together. In 1968, Hot Wheels released their first 16 cars to the market. These are known now as the Sweet 16. The custom Corvette was one of those models, and this version is the latest iteration released in 2021. The production of the third generation Corvette started at the end of the 1967, more or less at the same time that the new brand of toys started preparing their first release of cars. According to the stories, the blueprints of the 68 Corvette Stingray were snuck out from GM and brought to Hot Wheels. The result was the custom Corvette. This toy car actually appeared in the market few months before the real car was presented to the public. This version is covered with the Spectra Flame Black with red accents and the Corvette logo in the hood. In the front you have a deep black grille surrounded by chrome slim fenders. In the back there are four round tail lines painted in red and a Stinger played from California. What you won't find there is the chrome bumper famous in the Corvettes of this year. But inside, following the shark shapes of the Stingray, you can see the lateral slits and the Stingray naming on the top of them. The wheels as advertised are the neoclassic red lines. These were introduced in 2002 when Hot Wheels Collector's website started. This could function as a redo of the original wheels that the Hot Wheels had in the past. I think now the name Redline Club has a lot more sense, right? The wheels roll great. Just keep in mind that the neoclassic wheels are plastic and they don't have the rubber tires like other LC models. The interiors are black with a red wheel that stands out and combines with the accents of the car. For the opening features, the Corvette has an opening hood that reveals a fully chrome engine with no additional details. Now, for the comparison guys, I brought the Calvary. This is a 69 uh, Coupe, this is a 69 Copo, this is a 69 Racer, and the only one that is a 60A is the one that I have here in the back, that is a Grass Monkey one, the Grass Monkey Garage release. They are from different years, so basically all these three here in the front are 69, this is 68, this doesn't have like a specific number, but it's supposed to be based on the 68 one. Uh, the first thing that you will see, and I will I will mention that this, the racer ones, don't have the bumpers. If you can see, the two racer ones don't have the bumper, they have a different design. They also don't have the back bumper, um, which is a difference with these other two that they have the, the chrome bumper in the front, 68, 69, and the chrome bumpers in the back as well, 68, 69. The first big difference is the size, and I will put just in comparison with the 69, with the 68 as well, 
and you see that this is a lot smaller than this one uh, the boat both of them are supposedly 164 scale I will I could not tell you which one is the most accurate in 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 the scale but this is a casting that was released for the first time in 1968 so it's quite old this is a casting that was released uh, a couple of years ago I think that 2021 I'm not sure this one is a little bit old but the same they are different castings they are not the same so probably there lies the size difference which is I think that is quite considerable I was mentioning the bumpers because the third generation of the Corvette was famous for these chrome bumpers that you have and they disappear besides the race versions that they were not there but the chrome bumpers disappear in the 73 so you have here uh, something what could be look as the chrome bumper but in the back you have nothing uh, probably what that's why also this is call, called custom Corvette it's not a complete um, let's say copy of the real model it's just a custom there's a lot less details in the casting as you can see in these new castings you'll see the, the details of the doors details down here you will see the details of the of the pop out headlights and also the air vents and things like that and you will see all that in all the castings but in the 60s in the first hot wheels they were the designs were a lot more clean they were more simple now of course with the technology we are able to do a lot more things and when i say we i meant hot wheels of course <laughs> So, are you a JDM guy or a soccer for American muscle? In my case, I'm a car enthusiast in general. But the Corvette will always have top shelf in my heart. I just love the car. Let me know what do you think down in the comments. If you're still here and you enjoyed this video, I hope that you can do something for me. But if you are still not convinced, I will open another two RLC models next week. Come back then and let's talk. My name is AR. Thanks for being here and see you next time. Adios. Ah,